such a weird setup, but hey guys, hey, so I wanted to create a paranormal junk journal. I just wanted to apologize for that really annoying noise. It is not on the entire video. I also wanted to say if you're unaware, I do have a main channel where I upload videos about the paranormal and paranormal investigator. And a customer asked me if I could make them a paranormal junk journal. I love that idea and I am taking a page out of her book and doing one for myself as well. I'm going to be creating the cover from scratch. That was not the plan. I had the most perfect size book. It was a little bit bigger than this book. I don't know where that cover went. I took the pages out, everything for that, and I just, when I moved, it kind of got lost in the move. I have no idea where it is, if I'll ever find it. So we're gonna make the cover. I've done this before, and one of the journals I get the most, actually two of the journals that I have the most compliments on were made out of cereal boxes. I feel like a lot of people do things a little bit differently, but this is how I make mine. Got a flat in the box first. And I do a rough cut. These things I like to save because you can make tabs out of them. Now this is my personal journal, so if it's imperfect, that's absolutely fine for me. If I were selling it, I would do this very carefully. a little bit bigger than this, than this book. I'm gonna like wind up cutting the edges better than this so my book will really start probably about here. So let's do it to we'll cut here and we'll cut here. Down here. It doesn't even matter They're perfectly even because I'm gonna get use a paper cutter. projects are you guys working on? Oh, I just realized I haven't done a junk journal video in a long time. This is exciting. I have to go get my paper cutter. I'll be right back. So this is going to even out everything. I like to take some plain cardstock and that way I can make sure that none of this will actually show through into the fabric. So I'm going to grab some glue and some part stuff I usually use, um, Mod Podge, which works great, but I think I'm going to try, I bought some new glue, so I think I'm just going to try it out. So hopefully this works because I'm testing out some new, new products. I got this, uh, tacky glue from Beacon. I like Beacon, so that's probably going to work really well, um, but I do have a new fabric glue that I'm going to try out. Today is uh, a weird day because, well, I had a weird night, first of all. I felt horrible. <laughs> uh, I, like, felt weak as I was sleeping. I don't know. That happens to me when I'm sick, but like, I felt like I wasn't ever fully asleep, and I, would, I just noticed that I felt pretty horrible. <laughs> we have first piece, which I actually, did I cut it a little too short? I did. I always do that. Whatever. It's fine. I don't know. 
this glue is like does not want to come out. You know why I should have got the brushes by this, but I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh my goodness, I can confirm the tackiness. It is quite tacky. This is actually a towel for my a dish towel. I will say the the hold on this is pretty nice. My hands feel like when you were like in middle school or grade school and you would uh, put glue all over your hand just to be able to peel it off. I found my bone folder. Where did I put that? I think I might know it, which drawer I put it in because it's this is starting to bubble up. So that's let me go see if I find my bone folder. It is bubbling up. It didn't do that originally. Like I put it down and then it was flat. And I was like, this working pretty good for this. And then I noticed it started bubbling. I just don't want any of these holes to like peek through into the fabric. And like you can see like maybe the fabric is laid down as smoothly in some parts. I don't want that. And like I know I'm not being a perfectionist here, but I don't want that to happen. Does anyone remember when people would do what's on my iPhone videos? I always thought that they were so stupid. Like I do not care what I other people like. I guess if you're really into technology, maybe that would be for you. You know, I think that's good enough. I know I have this like little section that's not covered. Do I care to cut anymore? No, not really. I feel like a lacy part it. <laughs> if you have a boxer, you know my pain. I have a fabric glue that I have no faith in. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. <laughs> I'm gonna let this just dry here and then I'm gonna go wash my hands and then come back with the fabric and that weird glue stick that I told you guys about. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have the fabric glue stick. It says it goes on purple, dries clear, washes out. Use in place of pins for quilting or sewing. I don't know if this is gonna work. This fabric is the cover fabric. It is ghost. And they glow in the dark, actually. So this I could probably put on the cover and in the inside. But I'm thinking putting the, um, I almost like contact paper. <laughs> Home improvement stuff is on my mind, as you can see. We got this cardstock. This with this, I think would be cute. Um, I have some of these purple spider webs that are left over from a book I made. Um, but these could go... to make the spine. Okay, I'm thinking we do this for the spine. I'm obviously going to have to trim it. It's a little too big. I'm going to actually use this glue stick for the spine and just see how it works with paper and all that and I don't think it's gonna work for, <laughs> for fabric. The way they're saying it, it's very temporary, like use it in place of pins kind of thing. I didn't read it when I bought it. It was like really late and we were in Walmart to grab something. I don't even remember. This is how I prefer to trim um, my fabric. My fabric. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I told you I had a rough night. Um, how I 
prefer to trim my spine. So I measure it up and then I just go and do a little snip. And then I take the paper cutter and I do a nice even line with my paper cutter. That's my preferred way to do the spine. Oh, it dries clear. Duh. <laughs> also, like, what am I worried about? I'm gonna cover that up. Oh, it is getting very clear, so let's feel it. It, it does feel quite sticky. But now, now, no, oh, it's sticky. It dries clear really quickly, actually. Like, I don't even know if I went all the way up. Yeah, I don't trust that for holding me on fabric. It feels like a slightly stickier glue stick. I'm shocked with how quickly this dries clear because it's, it's already drying clear. Like I put I put some glue there. <laughs> so have you guys been junk journaling? And what is your like current project? So this is the first time I've junk journal in a while because I got really sick. I actually had COVID. Terrible. Awful. And then, um, I had issues with that for a while and then we were really busy house hunting, which this market, if, you, if you've if you been like paying attention to the market or even if you've been house hunting yourself, you definitely know the struggle. I must say it all worked out for the best. We actually wound up getting a seller that uh, was really nice and I feel like thankfully we found one that wasn't greedy. Like a lot were greedy. And <laughs> that was a really big issue uh, with a lot of the sellers. They were just greedy people. I am a mess when I'm working. Is anyone else a mess? Or is it just me? So I have kind of a fun video plan. It is um, kind of work from home with me type video. Um, I feel like this glue would do decently with this fabric. I think I'm just going to go with uh, an old faithful mod polish. Okay, I for sure know I went far enough with this glue this time. So we'll see if the same thing happens. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I can't tell it dries so fast. Not the best angle, guys, but it's going to have to do because, oh my gosh, to get this started it was difficult. Oh, I forgot my Mod Podge. So I've actually never Mod Podge. Um, let's close that. I've actually never Mod Podge fabric before. I know you can do it, so I'm going to do it now for the best. I steamed my fabric, it's actually behind me on my chair, so I steamed my fabric off camera, and it's not perfect, I don't mind it this way for my personal journals, so I just made sure it was neater than before. It can be a little bit wrinkly, just not as wrinkly as it was. So another thing that I like to do is I like to clip them in place while it's drying and let this uh, fold over and like kind of mold correctly. I also, where did I put that? I have this really cool washi tape that's like old newspaper. That's what it looks like. I think I'm going to put 
that right here in the, the center of this. But I have to go get my Mod Podge and a paintbrush. Hmm. Brain fog. So for things like this, I like to buy um, kind of cheap uh, brushes that I can ruin if I need to ruin it. Um, so that's what I did. Bought a cheap brush. Actually, I had a pack, a big pack of them. I have some things over here as well. I have to put to the side. So cheap, some of the brush came off. <laughs> I like to do a nice thin layer. Hopefully, that will work for this. Like I said, never Mod Podge fabric before. I actually thought about sewing it on and I was like, yeah, you really don't feel like doing that. Because I still have to fix the bobbin on my sewing machine so I'd be hand sewing and I'm going to hand sew the pages in eventually. So I was like, do you really, do you really want to hand sew the fabric? Think about that. Mm, no, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I think it would look cool, but do I really want to take my time and do it? No, not really. I just want to do a quick pamphlet stitch into the back of the book with uh, my pages. That will look nice and cool. I might add some buttons, not sure yet. So I was um, watching other people's junk journal videos just for fun because I really haven't junk journaled in quite some time due to um, being pretty busy. So I was just getting into it again. It's been a little while. I like to make sure like, I really am pulling this in. If not, I can get a little bit wrinkly. A little more wrinkly than you want. Um, let's see, the cover looks good. I'm excited to put that washi tape. I did not make a 2021 junk journal. I made a 2020 junk journal before 2020 became a really rough year for everyone. And then I was like, I jinxed the year. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Or they're like, oh no, I did it, I jinxed it, it's my fault. Now when I'm trimming this, I truly believe it's better to have some extra than not enough. So I go through with like a rough trim. I like to snip right by the spine. make a closure for this book as well but I think it's gonna be like really simple just puncture some holes through um through the sides of the book get some thread through there and I think I'm going to do orange for that. I have some orange thread. And I just think that will tie in really nicely with the orange leaves and the inside cover. It looks cute. It's super mismatched, but fine. I'm liking that. Okay, 
so holding it on the fabric is it's not real difficult it's doing it but it was kind of lifting for a second so I'm gonna do that just to ensure Too much. Why did I put so much on there? I don't know. See, like when it leans on the fabric, it needs a little bit of a hold. So just holding your finger there really seems to be doing the trick. However, just to like really make sure it's not going to pop off, I'm going to do that again. If you could even see me, I might have been out of frame. So what I'm saying is when gluing the fabric on top of the fabric, it gets a little bit um, more difficult. But if you like hold it down like this with your finger, it will, um, it will really hold well. But just to give it a little bit more insurance, I like to clip it down for a little bit. Okay, so this is the cover. You know, pretty good. So I want I like to kind of mold it together for a little bit. I do this anytime I'm making one with a uh, cereal box. I just think it kind of helps the shape a little bit when you have it like this. And I'll have it sit like this for a little while, actually. So I'm going to turn my camera off. And when I come back, we will do the closure and we will do the inside with some of this because I think this will look really cool on the inside, especially for a paranormal journal. I'm real excited about this. So I have my cover finished and I think I'm going to do a closure. I was thinking about doing just one, but I'm thinking two would be really cute to do like one here and one down here and it be like those I don't know to me like I can picture it in my head and it looks cute so we're gonna try it and really hope for the best so I'm gonna use this orange string and uh, a needle to poke through this is embroidery thread you can find embroidery thread at Dollar Tree I've never done a double closure, so we'll see how it looks. In my head, it looks really cute. So not too close to the edge because then you're not really going to be able to. Trying to poke through. got one hole. Now I have one hole, I'm going to go directly through to the other side. That way it lines up perfectly. And just try not to poke yourself because that will hurt. There we go. So we got one closure done. And I'm going to take my thread and thread my needle. I love these really big needles. They make it so easy. So Lacey just realized that I was missing. Don't know how do I feel about that. So I'm actually I'm not gonna tie it. I'm gonna take this to go through it. And just pull one through. Okay. And then remove that. And then oh, I don't want to mess it up. You see, I'm trying to like let me just tell you how heavy my camera is for my tripod, so I have like a really hard time angling this. Again, I like to just tie it. Like that. Do a double knot.
my mom called me, so sorry about that. But I did get the closures on there. That looks cute. It brightens it up and it does tie in the orange in there. I have these chalkboard stickers and a chalkboard pen. So I'm going to write Paranormal Investigations on one. I'm thinking this one just because there's the most room. And I'll put it right in the center. So... I've never written on one of these chalkboard things, so hopefully I do a decent job. I don't have like the, the greatest handwriting. It really depends on the pen. Oh gosh, it's like super rounded. Oh no, that's not good for me. So I'm gonna lean on a book. That looks horrible. Oh no. Okay, let's try, let's try this one. Yeah. Mm. This looks awful. This is the worst pen ever. It would be so nice if I could just remove this, and I can. I just screwed up two. If I can take a gel pen on. Yeah, kind of. Okay, I'm using a gel pen. That looks so much better. Of course, it's not perfect. But like, look at the difference. Can you see? You can't see it on camera. That chalkboard pen was horrible. Oh my gosh. As soon as I saw that around the tip, I knew. I'm gonna leave this sit for a second. Let it dry. And we're, uh, I think I'm gonna stick it like right here just because that way it doesn't cover up any ghost faces. And it's not sticking to this fabric. Let's try the fabric glue stick. So I have this, like I said before, this really cute uh, washi thing that I want to just put right here. I've done this a few times. And I like it a lot. This isn't for like every look kind of thing. It's definitely for certain books and I just think this book is oh it looks cute. I like it. This is perfect. This is like the perfect tape. I like this little guy. I don't really know what it is. It doesn't look like a horse. Is it a donkey? I don't know. It's cute though. So I'm gonna like trim it up like here and fix it, but that's cute. The inside. I'm a fan. I like that the outside. I have to write paranormal investigations over because it completely went away almost. Well, not completely, but almost. Um, but this is cute. The cover came out so cute. That I don't know if I'll do a video where I uh, do the pages because they're. I think they're all going to be blank coffee dye pages. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that because I can do it. It's just that, like I said, I think they're going to be all blank coffee dye pages. I don't think they're going to be um, anything special. 
just because I, I'm going to be journaling a lot in here and uh, adding pictures and stuff. I will add pockets, but then again, I think I'm going to add pockets as I go. I don't know if I'm going to add pockets in the cover or not. As I'm here, maybe I'll just rewrite paranormal investigations. If you stuck around here to the end, I thank you for that. I love this. I'm so happy with it. There was a moment where I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I think it turned out well. So if you stuck around for the entire thing, thank you so much. Let me know if you want to see me put in the pages. They're largely going to be just coffee dye pages, but I'm going to sew them in. Uh, I'm not going to glue them in or anything. I'm sewing them right into the back. And I may add buttons, I'm unsure. Um, so let me know if you want to see that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!